guys, I recently brought back my 30-year-old Tintec Scout 555. I brought it back to life, and I'm pretty excited about it. And I want to get out portable with it, and I'm getting ready to do that for the very first time. It's evening time here. It's, um, let's see, as we speak right now, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time here on the Atlantic coast. So I'm going to stay out here for a while as the sun goes down and try to ride the gray line through the 20-meter band. You know, when thinking about this, I feel like, what will I do? My, a good resident antenna for the first time out, what will I use? Well, an antenna I love, I've used this antenna on, uh, it, it is the uh, InFed Halfway Vertical by M1 ECC Antennas. I love this thing. I've used it on the beach, and I've actually used it right here. I'm in the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. It's going to kind of get dark. I'm near the marina. I know people will be out on their, you know, enjoying the evening. It's a wonderful evening. So I figured I would just get inside the Jeep so people wouldn't hear me. And I can stay out here longer, too, and it got dark and have a little bit of fun. But I'm going to put this vertical in-fed up and, uh, and put this thing together because, as it says right there, it's got a, a resonant coupler in it. This isn't a 49 to 1 per se. I'm talking to uh, M1 ECC. So this is designed to make this absolutely resonant on 20 meters. And that's what I'm going to need with this and no tuner. So I'm going to get the antenna up, show you a little bit more, show you my operating conditions, and then uh, we'll see what kind of uh, what we can do as the gray line rolls across here in uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, the Norfolk, Virginia Harbor. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup um, here on the Jeep, and then here is the antenna. And um, what I did, this is my classic 5% uh, of a wavelength, so one, one meter long counterpoise. Not that that really matters. I'm not choking it at this end. I'm going to give it all the help I can. I'm going to I'm use a 50 foot of coax, and I'll put the, the choke at the end of the, by the radio. Anyway, 10 meter DX Commander pole. And uh, as you can see, what I had to do, I took an extra extension off of another pole. I have about a, I don't know, not quite a meter more. So it's more of a 11 meter long pole. I added that at the end because wire is just a little bit too long for that. This thing is healthy and stout. I'll show you a little trick I do. I tape it at the joints, not every joint, but as you can see, the uh, there's the driven element of this M1 ECC antenna. It's pretty awesome. But tape it there and then, um, down here as you can see this thing will handle 400 watts well we're going with 50 today we're going to make it happen and uh we'll watch as the sun goes down here over this is called swimming point or some people call it holiday harbor but uh this is us portsmouth virginia let's get on the air and inside here's the setup so there's my scout 555 by 10 tech and i'm running it with i'm using my uh 20 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. So there it is. Let's get on the air and see what kind of uh, first time portable with my Tentec Scout 555, 50 watts, and one of my favorite antennas, vertical. And this is a nice half wave vertical from N1 ECC antennas. Let's roll. QSL, QSL, you're 58 as well into Virginia. Thank you. 73. Roger, Roger. Thanks for taking the call. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm located in Virginia on the Atlantic coast of Virginia. Uh, you're 5858. Five, uh, good audio here into Virginia tonight. Uh, you too. You're 5859 here in Northwest Italy. I'm located 35 kilometers from Milano city. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. QSL, QSL, you're five nine as well into Virginia. The name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. Okay, my friend Walter, thank you very much, my friend. My name is Jever, Juliet Echo Bravo Echo Radio. My state Mike Genuani Brazil. Congratulations, seventy three, my friend. Thank you, seventy three. Papa Yankee Ford, Japan Whiskey, Q or Z. Yo, 
Oscar Golf, Oscar 5-9. QSL, you're 5-9 into Virginia. Thanks for Virginia. Have a fantastic evening, my friend. Uh, good luck. Uh, QRZ, and Victor Alpha 3, X-ray, Delta X-ray. Okay, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, QSL, the name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, you're 5-9 into Virginia tonight. Okay, well, thank you so much uh, for the 5-9 Five two, five two, but uh, I can't help you out. Okay, well, uh, like uh, the audio is five. Okay, really. Okay, thank thank you so much for the service. It's seven three, and I can't bye bye. Thank you seventy three. Bye bye. CQ CQ Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar calling CQ CQ Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar calling CQ CQ. Anyone anyone. Kilo nine Echo Mike Tango. Kilo 9, Echo Mike Tango, booming signal 5-9 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Roger that. Thank you for the 5-9 from Norfolk. And uh, I've got you at 5-9 in Michigan. And my name is Al, Alpha Lima. Over. Kilo Charlie 1, Kilo Victor Yankee. Kilo Charlie 1, Kilo Victor Yankee. You're 5-9 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Great signal. Massachusetts, Mike Alpha. Kilo Zulu 4, Foxtrot Romeo. Kilo Zulu 4, Foxtrot Romeo. Another wonderful signal, 5-9 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, yeah, hey, Walt, how's it going? I uh, should have mentioned this is a mobile station. I'm running a uh, Yezu 891 uh, with a quarter-wave ham stick on the back of my truck. All right. Kilo Zero, Tango, Tango, Yankee, about a 5-5, five, 5-5 five, five, five into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Hey, that's wonderful. I know you're a fan, fan of the uh, Zygu T90, that's what I'm on right now with the uh, NZ halfway antenna off my house. You're sounding good up here in the St. Louis, Missouri. I'd have to give you about a 5-7. Yeah, you know, W8 November, Juliet Sierra, Marine Mobile. We're on Grand Lake St. Mary's in the state of Ohio. And uh, just put the radio on the boat here this afternoon, and uh, we're sitting on a 22-foot pontoon boat. You got a—I thought you said you're running one of the old bandmasters. Uh, uh, you've got a beautiful signal with it up here, over. Romeo Lima November. Romeo Lima November. Yeah, I'm getting old. I mean, that, was, that was a dyslexic moment on mine there. At five nine, five nine here into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. I got you five seven here in North Alabama. Hey, thanks for North Alabama. Good to get over there to you. And like I said, yeah, you got a wonderful signal here into uh, to the harbor tonight. Thank you, thank you. I just uh, changed my antenna for about 73. Thank you, 73. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, QRZ. Victor Alpha 3, Papa Mike Hotel. Victor Alpha 3, Papa Mike Hotel. Wow, great signal. 5, 9, plus 10 into the harbor. Hey, thank you so much. It's good to uh, talk to someone who actually uh, watches them. I appreciate it so much. Hey, no problem. 73 and have a good night. You too. 73, my friend. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. QRZ. November 9, November Tango Charlie. November 9, November Tango Charlie. 5 9, great signal into Norfolk tonight. This is November 9, November Tango Charlie. You're 5 9 into Wisconsin. Name is Mike. Over. Oh, it's doing a great job for you. A 10-tech uh, scout, I've, I've, I don't own one anymore, but I had one, and that was a nice little radio for uh, mobile work and uh, portable work, so I'm sure you're enjoying it. So uh, I'll let you work some more, and uh, good luck, but you're sounding uh, excellent uh, in Wisconsin right now. So this is N9NTC, 7-3. 7 my friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love this little radio. I just brought it back to life, and uh, this is my first time portable with it for sure. All the best to 73, my friend. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ. November 1, Golf Zulu Bravo. November 1, Golf Zulu Bravo, 5-9 into Norfolk tonight. Roger, Roger, you're 5 by 8 into the state of Maine, over. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ. Kilo Mike 4, Juliet Hotel Lima. The Kilo Mike 4. Kilo Mike 4, Juliet Hotel Lima. Juliet, Hotel Lima, you're 5757 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia tonight. Excellent. You're about 57 up here in Dresden, Maine. Echo 3, Charlie Mike, India. 
Victor Echo 3, Charlie Mike India, about a 5'8", five 5'8", eight, five eight into the harbor tonight. Hi, you're 5'9", here, Walt, and uh, a very nice signal, nice and clear, and uh, enjoy your videos. Thanks for being there. Well, that was a blast. That was a real blast. Um, great. I knew it would be. I, that antenna is just an amazing antenna, and it's the one I wanted to use as a nice resonant 20-meter antenna. For, uh, for this radio, my first time out with this radio portable, it was a blast and a uh, wonderful evening. It's about, uh, it's almost eight o'clock, getting close to eight. I'm gonna, while I got a little bit of light left, I'm going to take the antenna down, head home and uh, call it a night. But boy, that was that fun. Um, DX, I, I worked Europe, uh, start off with Europe, uh, South America, the Caribbean and Canada. We'll call Canada DX. And then one thing I could, I did that I don't, uh, I don't normally do with uh, with the lower power radios with the 50 watts called CQ and bam I was like right away I, I was I kind of had a little pile up going there so um that was cool and uh, something I don't do a whole lot of so with the 50 watt 10 tech I think I uh, can definitely work a little uh, do do a little bit more uh, calling CQ I'll probably get out and maybe even do a POTA activation soon with it and uh, and have fun with it this antenna is a great antenna I've had it I've had now, mine now for almost a couple years. These are the same guys that make the um, the Slidewinder DX coil, which is a great coil as as well. Um, I'm, this isn't an advertisement for them. Like I said, I bought I bought everything I got from them. I purchased, and uh, I've had this thing for a couple of years. I will put a link to their site if you're interested in this because um, I've had some great times on the beach with this antenna. Um, it's hefty. If you got power, if you're really running power, this thing will take up to 400 watts. So the the M1 ECC, it's a quality built antenna, and uh, like. I said i don't have a whole lot of commercial stuff or or stuff that other people built outside of uh you know my onions and my transformers and stuff but i like to build my own but this is one antenna i just knew it was a performer and i knew i'd have a good time with it and i knew it was the antenna to come out here with tonight and have a little fun hope you enjoyed it um if you're into portable antennas hf voice ssb ham radio then please like and subscribe and uh, I promise you, I, I, I do review a few things here or there, what I do, but I'm not a, uh, this isn't the shopping network. So it'll be more about me having fun and learning a little bit about ham radio and we can all learn together. Till next time, I'm Walt K4OGO, 73, my friends.